Coughing is an expulsion of air, prevents the aspiration of foreign material and preserves the health of the respiratory system. When they arrive at the vet, dogs often hide the signs. So, let's watch this little video to see what a cough sounds like. Thank you for coming to Vet Kayla. My name is Emma. When this cough becomes persistent, it can affect the pet's quality of life, or even affect the owner's sleep. Pulmonary edema of cardiac origin causes our pet to present several signs, such as congestion, dyspnea, exercise intolerance, and also cough. Cough of cardiogenic origin occurs in skinny dogs, it occurs mainly at night, and we will also have different heart disorders. We can see alterations in cardiac size on the X-ray, and on auscultation of the heart, we will hear abnormal sounds. The most important thing to keep in mind about coughing is that it is a sign and we have to treat the cough, without forgetting that there is something that caused the cough. The causes that produce the cough, can act in the trachea, in the bronchi and in the heart. And to know what is the cause of the cough, we have to answer several questions. How long have you had a cough? Some days ago. A few weeks ago. A year ago. There are different causes such as inflammatory, it can be a cardiac, neoplastic cause. The cough can originate in the respiratory tract or originate in the heart. We also have to classify it according to the sound, since it can be a loud sound, or a soft cough. The loud cough is characterized by being in the airways, such as chronic bronchitis and tracheal collapse. In the case of a mild cough, we are going to have a problem in the lung, for example cardiogenic pulmonary edema. At the vet, the first thing we do is stimulate the cough reflex to confirm that he has a cough. The review covers species, race, sex, age. We have to take into account that in small dogs, the most common is that there is a collapse of the tracheal membrane or chronic bronchitis. On the other hand, in large dogs, the most common is that there are heart problems. On the other hand, we also have to take age into account. Since the most common thing we can think of in puppies is a congenital heart problem. To differentiate if it is a cough of cardiac or respiratory origin, we take a chest x-ray, first making a lateral lateral view to see the heart and lung. And then we do a dorsoventral view to better see the heart. You always have to take two incidents. There are different problems that the heart can have, but now we are going to talk about a mitral valve insufficiency. Remember that blood has antibodies, it has proteins, it has white blood cells, red blood cells, and a large component of blood is water. Let us remember that in the lung the blood is oxygenated and through the pulmonary vein it goes to the left atrium. In the image we can see the left heart, the left atrium, the left ventricle and the mitral valve. Then, water reaches the left atrium, the mitral valve opens, and then the water passes into the left ventricle filling up. This filling of the left ventricle is called diastole. Once the ventricle is full, the mitral valve closes. But when there is an insufficiency of this valve, it does not close completely, so part of the water returns to the left atrium, and at the same time more water is coming through the pulmonary vein. Then the pressure increases and the water flows back into the lung. In the lung, the presence of water and protein inside and outside the blood vessels, causes this excess amount of water within the blood vessels to now pass outside the blood vessels, producing pulmonary edema. Because the origin of the problem is in the heart, it is said to be cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So, heart failure can be caused by different problems. Valve regurgitation will cause volume overload, and this leads to eccentric hypertrophy. Reviewing, First the pressure in the left ventricle increases, the pressure in the left atrium increases, then the pressure in the pulmonary vein increases, and then this water reaches the lung, edema occurs, and the edema will lead to a cough. It is a restrictive cause, since the presence of water restricts the movement of the lung. I send you a big kiss, and see you in the next video.